tonight, the Charles H. Coolidge National Medal of Honor Heritage Center is open for business. Good evening, I'm Abby Kirk. Today, state and local leaders, veterans, and some of our nation's most decorated heroes came to Chattanooga for a historic event. Josh Rowe was there and has that story. Years of planning, preparation, and fundraising led to this day. Today, more than a thousand people filled these chairs to honor history in this town and to start something brand new in Chattanooga. I now have the great privilege to declare the Charles H. Coolidge National Medal of Honor Heritage Center fully commissioned and open. May God bless this noble undertaking and may God bless the United States of America. Let's do There are 71 living recipients of the Medal of Honor. 10 came to Chattanooga today for the opening of the Heritage Center, including Charles Coolidge, the man whose name is on the building, one of only two living recipients from World War II. Mr. Coolidge was here today and for whom this center is named. Um, when you're around World War II veterans that uh, that are being recognized for their particular acts of courage. These are men who went above and beyond uh, to protect their um, their fellow soldiers, and it, it's an inspiration to be around men like that. The opening of the Heritage Center has been years in the making, and today hundreds of veterans, service members, their families, and other Chattanoogans came to see firsthand the start of something new in the city, a center that celebrates more than 150 years of history. 111 years ago, the Choo Choo opened. Uh, 115 years ago was the first trip up the incline. But to me, today was a great, eventful, historical day for Chattanooga, and man, Chattanooga turned out. I talked to several Medal of Honor recipients the last several days. They told me that they're honored to be here this week and that something special is happening here in Chattanooga. Josh Rowe, News Channel 9.